Welcome back to Physics Daily, your one-stop destination for understanding the fascinating physics behind everyday phenomena. Today, we dive deep into the tiny yet powerful world of SIM cards. It all begins with a small, unassuming card, your SIM card. At first glance, it might just seem like a piece of plastic or metal, but there's more to it than meets the eye. The SIM card is your key to connectivity, the bridge between your mobile device and the world. Let's get started right away by discovering the inner components of these unassuming, yet incredibly powerful, pieces of technology. At the heart of every SIM card is a microcontroller, a tiny but potent brain made of silicone and plated with precious metals like gold. This microcontroller is responsible for coordinating the SIM card's functions. Inside, the SIM card houses a small but efficient memory, typically just 64 kilobytes in size. This memory can store a surprising amount of data, including approximately 250 contacts and some SMS messages. It's remarkable that this tiny chip shares the same memory capacity as the Apollo Guidance Computer, the remarkable machine that guided the first human moon landing. Even your contact list and last dialed numbers find a home on this minuscule chip. It's a testament to the engineering marvel of the SIM card, packing so much functionality into such a tiny space. But the SIM card's capabilities extend beyond storage. It also contains the operating system for the card, allowing it to perform basic operations and handle various functions. It can execute simple mathematical processes and store crucial information. Furthermore, your SIM card houses an array of data, from its unique serial number to the name of your cellular carrier. Your PIN, personal identification number, to lock and unlock your phone is tucked away in its memory, ensuring that only you can access your device. In case of emergencies, there's the PUK, personal unblocking key, code, which can be used to unlock your phone if you forget your PIN. Inside this tiny chip resides the International Mobile Subscriber Identity, or IMSI, a 15-digit unique number that identifies you and links you to your chosen mobile network. When you power on your device, it seeks out the nearest network tower, and the magic begins. The IMSI is like your personal passport in the digital realm. It's unique to you and tells the network precisely who you are. It's this 15-digit number that allows you to be recognized by the network. Think of it as your phone's digital fingerprint. When you insert your SIM card and power on your device, it sends out a signal searching for the nearest network tower. The tower picks up this signal and asks for your IMSI. This is where the connection begins. Now, let's take a peek behind the scenes the network tower is like the entry point to the bustling world of wireless communication, connecting you to the vast network infrastructure. It's the bridge between your device and the core of the mobile network. When you switch on your phone, the tower is your first point of contact. It takes your IMSI and sends it to the Mobile Switching Center, or MSC, which is like the traffic controller of the network. The MSC, in turn, requests the Home Location Register HLR, for authentication. Think of the HLR as a giant contacts book that holds all the vital information about you and your SIM card. It's like asking, is this SIM card legit? Now, it gets interesting. The HLR throws a challenge your way, a random number called RAN. It's like a secret code that only your SIM card and the network know. It's like a secret handshake between your SIM card and the network. Your smartphone, using a special key called Key, calculates a signed response, SRES. It's like your phone whispering back to the network, I'm legit. Now, let's talk about the final handshake, the moment when the network decides if you are in or out. The MSC, like a vigilant bouncer, checks your signed response against the one it expected. If they match, your SIM card is authenticated, and your device gains access to the network. It's the green light to call, text, and browse. It's a bit like a VIP pass to a concert. If your pass matches the one on the list, you are in. If not, you are out in the cold. It's this security check that ensures only authorized devices can access the network. But it's not just about getting connected, 
it's also about staying secure. Your SIM card provides encryption keys, ensuring your voice and data transmissions are as safe as a vault. Think of it as sealing your letters in a high-tech, ultra-secure envelope. Only your device and the network have the matching key to open it. This encryption keeps your data safe from prying eyes, ensuring that your conversations are private and secure. So, the next time you see those network bars on your phone, remember, it's not just a signal, it's a symphony of physics, security, and connectivity all wrapped up in a tiny SIM card. One intriguing aspect of SIM cards is their role in location tracking. But is it a matter of privacy or security? When you insert a SIM card into your phone and power it up, the device instantly begins connecting to nearby cell towers to establish a signal. As you move, your SIM collaborates with the closest towers to ensure you receive the strongest possible signal. The role of SIM cards in location tracking raises an interesting question, is it a matter of privacy or security? Let's delve deeper into the circumstances where extracting location data through SIM cards becomes essential, navigating the delicate balance between individual privacy and collective security. The question arises, when does tracking your location through SIM cards become a justifiable practice? Striking a balance between individual privacy rights and broader security concerns is crucial. In scenarios where public safety is at stake or where locating a person is imperative for their well-being, the utilization of location data becomes a tool for the greater good. One of the most critical applications of SIM card-based location tracking is in emergency situations. When an individual makes an emergency call, swift and accurate location data can be a lifesaver. Emergency services, such as ambulances or law enforcement, need to reach the distressed individual as quickly as possible. In these cases, the tracking precision of SIM cards plays a pivotal role in ensuring a rapid and effective response. The extraction of location data becomes justifiable when it comes to locating missing persons or ensuring the safety of individuals. This is particularly relevant in cases involving vulnerable populations such as children, elderly individuals with dementia, or anyone who might be at risk. Swift and precise tracking facilitated by SIM cards can be instrumental in reuniting families or ensuring the well-being of those who may be in danger. On a larger scale, national security and criminal investigations may necessitate the use of SIM card-based location tracking. In situations where law enforcement agencies are actively pursuing criminal suspects or dealing with potential threats to national security, the ability to narrow down the search area significantly through triangulation can be critical. Lastly, geolocation services thrive on the capabilities of SIM cards in the world of apps and services. Whether it's finding the nearest coffee shop or navigating through a bustling city, the collaboration between your SIM and cell towers enhances your location-based experiences. While the need for location tracking is apparent in these circumstances, it's crucial to emphasize that this power should be wielded responsibly and within the bounds of the law. Striking a delicate balance between individual privacy rights and collective security demands robust legal frameworks, oversight mechanisms, and strict adherence to ethical considerations. So, the next time you insert your SIM card, remember that you're not just connecting to your network, you're tapping into the intricate web of technology, memory, and security that resides within this unassuming piece of plastic. It's a silent, indispensable companion in our interconnected world. Thank you for joining us on Physics Daily. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more fascinating physics in our daily lives. Until next time, keep exploring the world of science around you.